Advocates are circling back to the failed plan for roundabouts on Farnham. The Omaha City Council denied a design contract this week that would have Farnham a permanent two-way street. But city engineers say it'll never happen without roundabouts. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon reports from Dundee where another petition effort is underway. Well, who would have thought roundabouts would be so controversial, but after a number of Dundee residents convinced city council to reject the Farnham conversion plan and keep traffic lights like this intact, a number of transportation advocates are considering launching a counter petition. There really is a lot of support in this neighborhood for the roundabouts. Mode Shift Omaha is a group that advocates for traffic and pedestrian safety. Board chair Liz Vizi wants to help educate neighbors about this type of traffic tool. Especially because there's a lot of momentum and interest right now. The average driver in the city of Omaha doesn't know the difference between a stop sign and a yield sign. We do live in a very historic neighborhood, among many historic neighborhoods in Omaha. We obviously don't speak for everyone, but in a situation when you have more than 15 board members and they're all unanimous, uh, you know, we have to show this is the side of the support we are showing. Opponents convinced the Omaha City Council to deny the Farnham conversion plan this week, and Mode Shift Omaha says it did not help communicate facts this time around. But, you know, I thought that Public Works had a good plan, that the mayor was supportive of it, and like almost always when that's true, things pass. Roundabouts are safer, they're cost effective, and they slow traffic. National data supports this, as does our local data. The city engineer says Farnham becomes a dangerous street if drivers can go both ways without roundabouts. Experts add roundabouts are just one part of the Vision Zero initiative to reduce traffic deaths to zero. We're interested in continuing to push for roundabouts here and across the city um, and you know work with the city to help educate people and get people to support the Vision Zero goal um, and things like roundabouts that can help us get there. The city engineer says the city has 23 roundabouts right now with five more under construction. Alex McLoon, KETV Newswatch 7.